I miss traveling most of all. I miss London. Oh, perfect. Being inside with no prospect of travel leaves me more desperate to be on the tube than I've felt in a year. It makes me wish I had documented more. Not just the amazing spectacles of things I experienced, but the amazing mundane things I experienced. I have the Sagrada Familia on film. I didn't film a sandwich from Cafe Capital. I documented the London Eye, but in my mind, I just retraced the path from the street entrance of Chancery Lane Station down to the Central Line, and from the Central to the DLR, where I transferred at Bank, and got off at Canary Wharf, exiting past the flower stand. I captured the Scottish Highlands and the Edinburgh Castle, but I never filmed the graveyard where my friends and I would dance. I filmed Borough Market, but not the Chandos. Filmed St. Paul's, but not the Trinity, or the Moon, or White Heat. You can't film the way it feels to be running through Harrow at night, or standing in the most crowded train in the morning, shoved against people until they say, Sorry, love, and politely shove you away from them. I miss the two for five mojitos in a can, and Frosty Jacks, and the weird way you're seated and then you order, and then you take your seat again at Nando's. I wore the same small wardrobe over and over for months, but it was because I was a light-packing adventurer, not a quarantined captive to sweatpants. I missed the porta cabin at my internship and the biscuits we would dunk on breaks, the English laughing at how much the Americans loved or hated certain types. I recorded plenty of coffee shops, but not the little kitchen where I made tea for Shakespeare class every Tuesday and Thursday morning at nine. My tube card never left my pocket. My lack of sleep was constant, but my skin and my energy and my sense of exploration never dropped in brilliance. On one of my last days, I took my favorite walk alone. From the Central Line stop at St. Paul's, across the Millennium Bridge, and down around the globe. Southwark is my favorite, next to the lit up trees during February in Canary Wharf. The sun was shining as April turned to May. After my walk, I popped back up to Oxford Street, where I walked through all four Zaras. I found a dress that made me feel like a walking peony, my London dress. I wore it to afternoon tea and could have cried when it started raining on my beautiful city. So close to the verdict. I know I remember it with more perfection than it had. Feels good not to be in a bus. I was exhausted, bored with homework, up early, annoyed with a few people, and the commutes felt longer and longer. I miss it, though. I miss London.